Hi, I'm Lisa from Bowtie.com. I make the masks and I've designed a filter pocket so you can put a filter in your mask if you wish. The filters that I've designed these for are these PM 2.5 filters. They are a way to add more protective layers to a cotton mask. Um, when you get your mask in the mail, it's going to arrive flat like this with the pleats. This is the, the, the uh, featured fabric. They come, these come with, uh, these I made with ear loops. You can get them so they um, encircle your head. Either way, whether you get the kind that encircle your head or with the ear loops, there will be adjusters that are silicone adjusters on the elastic that allow you to uh, snug it down to your ear or to your head. So there will either be this sort of coin shaped slide or there may be a barrel shaped slide on your elastic and all you have to do is slide it in place and it locks there um, through the magic of silicone. So um, I, it's hard to show you how to uh, insert the, the filter into the mask when it's got all the pleats in it for what it is that I want to show to you. So what I'm going to show you is a mask that's in the process of being constructed. This is the featured fabric. What I do is I put in this pocket that ha I put a line of stitching at the bottom that goes through all three layers. That keeps the, the filter, once you put it in here, from dropping too low on the mask. Now it's tricky because everybody has a different sized head. In our household, my husband has like a watermelon head and I have like a clementine. So um, I make these so that it will be not quite right for either of us, but um, it's better than no stitching because having it stitch, drop all the way to the bottom is really frustrating. So when you're ready to insert your um, filter into your mask, you have a couple of options. You can see um, it's, I, I wanted to use one with contrast. The filter pocket is here. It's the white la layer. Um, and it sits against green on this mask. And you can see the uh, fold that, um, that is right at the edge. So you can either put the filter in so that it just goes easily into this open area and sits in there so that if you were to look in the side of the mask, you would see the filter sitting in there. Um, this one is set up like that. I'm going to show you how I put it on and then I adjust the filter once it's on my face. So, um, whoops, these have nose wires that go on the top. The ear loops go around. I'm going to snug my ear loops down. And right now, the mask is going around the corner. It starts here and ends here. I actually want it to come like this. So what I'm going to do is once it's on my face, I'm going to just reach in and move it up. There we go. Now I just moved it. So it's at the bottom of my chin. So that is one way to wear the, uh, the filter so that it's in between, just lying in between the pocket and the mask itself. Another thing, another way, um, another thing about this design is you can see these folded edges you can tuck the filter. Oh, what happened? You can tuck the filter. I just messed up my computer, but it's back. You can tuck the filter so that it sits behind in that pocket. What I'm going to do is put it into the fold. So that now it's in the fold, and you can see it in there, but it is tucked into the pocket of the pocket. Okay, 
So that's a, even a little more secure than the other way so that it won't slide around as much. And um, to me, I like it because it's a finished edge and because I sew, I like a finished edge. So this one is set up with that process. Snug the ear loops. All right, this one's in just the right spot. The filter is from here to here. So, um, so that's sitting in the filter pocket. The filter is in the filter pocket, and um, it feels very secure. Once you are ready to wash your mask, you want to take the filter out. Don't wash the filter. I think you just throw them away. Um, when you wash these masks, wash them, and you can dry them in the dryer. I've really come to just hang them to dry because I find that the nose wire gets uh, vulnerable and it sometimes pokes through the cotton and that's not comfortable on my face. So I found drying them by just hanging them where we hang them. Um, we have hooks right by the door so we can always grab a mask. So I hang them to dry. It's completely up to you. But once you've washed it, the filter pocket will separate away like this. It's okay. Um, that it does that. You can, if you want to, you can fold it back into its folds. It seems like a lot of work to me, and uh, I have other things to do, but if that's important to you, by all means, fold away. <laughs> so that's the filter pocket on the bowtie.com cotton face masks. I hope this is helpful to you. I really hope you stay healthy and well. Take good care. So long.